Stop swapping different AI models when you do wipe coding because the only CLI tool that you need is LangCode that recently developed using LangChain that brings all different AI models namely Anthropic, OpenAI, Gemini, even local models immediately in your terminal that you do coding so you no longer need to leave your development environment and do wipe coding within there and intelligently route your queries or AI questions for coding to all these different models without you manually swapping them. In this video, I'm going to show you how this open source solution works and how we can use it in action. Let's check it out. As you might already know, you no longer need to copy and paste all your codes or repositories to a given LLM to do wipe coding or asking coding questions because there are different type of tools that you can run them in your terminal so you can literally in your terminal chat with the language model to help you with coding changing anything in your code repo migrating that or doing pull requests push to your repo immediately from your terminal with just chatting to give you an example cloud code is one of those tools that runs in your terminal we have gemini cli that i created a video and I'll add that to the top of the video screen here Check this out. I have provided a walkthrough detailed uh, overview of how you can use Gemini CLI in your terminal so you can do have AI to help you with coding and you can just confirm and watch the progress running in your computer. But OpenAI has its own models. You can also use some local language models that you deploy them in your computer and use it for vibe coding. But here's a critical question. Which one do I need to use? I'm not going to manually switch between them. And I even don't know which one is the best choice for my complex potential use case or the type of the query that I have to that language model. Well, good news, Lang code is here to fix and answer that question. What LangCon does, it actually brings all these sort of AI models and terminal tools that I told you about already, which is OpenAI, Anthropic, or even some open source models from Hugging Face that you usually deploy them using Olama. And then even if, so it brings them all together in your terminal, I'll show you in action how it can, it can automatically route by itself which model should be used based on my question. On the top, if you want to connect this AI tooling uh, service to different tools, let's say you want to connect this to um, GitHub for making pull requests automatically within the terminal, you need to use some sort of a tool or MCP. Well, good news is that LangCode can connect to MCP to use them as a tool when you do wipe coding in your terminal. So GitHub MCP is one example. If you want to generate images and videos, there are different type of tools. You can use them as an MCP server and bring it to this LangCode CLI terminal that will show you in action. So switching back to the terminal, they are actually emphasizing a couple of key features. I'm going to skip them for now because I want to show them in action. But just want to tell you the very first thing you need to do to start is just doing pip install line chain code. This is the only thing that you need to actually do for getting access to this open source project. And as soon as you have that installed, you just need to type lang code within your terminal and it will launch lang code for you. So let me show you in action. I also talk about main features and more capabilities that I haven't talked about it yet. All right, here's a terminal of my uh, developing environment and what I need to do, I have already done that pip install step, so I'm gonna skip that, but I just wanna simply just type lang code and with just a couple of seconds, you will see that it's gonna launch the main actually terminal for having lang code being executed. So you will see that before I start chatting and chat is just one way of interacting with lang code, there are a couple of configurations that you need to specify before you start using lang code, so I wanna go through them one by one. So as you can see, my pointer right now is on command section. So it says that how you want to interact with LAN code through chat. It's one way, but the other way is that if I just press my right arrow key button on my keyboard, you will see they're going to change to be added as feature. So what is feature? Feature is just you ask something, it plan, edit, and verify, and then run. That's it. There's no sort of interactive chat stuff that you hop in and do provide your feedback or ask as freely like you do in the chat. The other thing, if I press the right button again, it's fixed. So what fix does is that fix is sort of, it trace all the steps needed, then it patch them and test them. So you can also specify, hey, I wanna run unit tests using PyTest when I when you're done with the coding. So you can specify that, and this is just one simple way of developing something without any custom chatting. And the last one is analyze. If I just press the right button again, it switched now to analyze and analyze just do deep code insights. For now, for sake of learning, I want to go back to the chat. So chat has been selected for me. What's the engine? So if I go press my um, the down arrow button, the keyboard, 
React, which stands for reasoning and acting. This is for typical um, AI coding usage, not for complex use cases that you ask something, it, it's going to be fast using reasoning and acting to specify what going to be the multi-step planning that I need to do for resolving your coding query. But for complex scenarios, if you just press right button again, engine goes to dip. Well, dip means you're going to have much more complex multi term queries that you want to ask from the line code. So if your question is specifically complex and needs that multiple interactions, use the deep uh, choice. Now, what is router? Given that line code will bring all these different uh, sort of models, you can manually specify which model you're going to use. Let's say I want to use just cloud for for this specific query or no, I'm going to let line code intelli intelligently decide by itself which model should be used for that wipe coding session. So router is off for me, but if you turn it on, it's going to ask you, okay, what's your priority for helping me choosing the best model for you? There are some configurations by land code by itself that use it to decide which model should be used, but also here is additional input that it gets from you to decide which model should be used. So priority is balanced. That means I don't care about how fast or how expensive it is. Go with the balanced decision of routing my query. But if I switch it, if cost is a big consideration for you and you would prefer cheaper um, usage, then go with cost as a priority or speed if you if you care about the speed and the latency of how fast your code is going to be generated or if you care about the quality so i don't care about this cost speed i really care about the quality and i'm going to keep back to the balance so what is autopilot mode this is actually when i turn it on the agent plans and executes end to end without asking question so you have seen that in gemini cli when the, the cli generated code and i want to run it it first asks me that, hey, MG, are you comfortable if I run in your terminal? And you should say yes, no. But sometimes I don't really want to be bothered with being asked any question. Just go ahead, develop, run it, show me the final results. That's when you turn autopilot on and off to have that capability. All right, so for now, I want to switch router to off because the only model that I have is Anthropic. So that's why the LLM is from auto. I'm going to change it to Anthropic and I'm going to show you how I added my API key. For the model place, if you have a specific model choice for the given provider, you can select that here. I want to skip. And here is the project path that your code or repo is there, or you're going to generate that using line code. Environment is actually the .env file that you need to go and edit to add your API keys, whether you use Gemini or Anthropic models or OpenAI. So that's going to be a local env file created for you. And within there, you're going to add list of your API keys. You can see here is mine. I have used Anthropic API key. These are for different projects. You can ignore, but just simply you add your key provided within the LLM provider so that a uh, LAN code can use it to call your um, choice of language model. The next one is global environment. So you might have different sort of API keys or secrets that you need to use it in your project. So this tool need to use it when it codes and tests your codes by itself. That's the place you need to provide your variables. It's another .env file that you can add it. Also, you might have some very large instructions. You need to explain your project, your repo that doesn't fit into just one prompt being asked here. That's why there's something called custom instruction, which is going to be a .md file that you can really specify anything extra, more description about what you're going to do. It's like a system instruction that let LAN code design and decide the coding aspect of that better so if you just show you quickly for example here is the template that they provided you can add some project rules some tips or some coding style architecture tooling or for example you have mcp servers added i'm going to show you how you're going to make sure under what circumstances this mcp should be used or shouldn't be used it's really the playground for you to add any additional description that you didn't get a chance to explain them anywhere else and lastly is MCP. So under MCP config, that's going to be a JSON file that you need to list your the URLs of your MCP servers and what this tool exactly is. For example, you want to connect Lanco to GitHub servers or any sort of tools or databases or API that you have. So it's going to be empowered by those tools. So when it does coding or run your codes, execute them, it's like an actual software developer that has access to different tools. Namely, for example, web search, if you have search API, so you can connect it there. And to just show you how you can modify that, just again, press the right arrow button on your keyboard. Here's an example. 
for having GitHub server, uh, sorry, MCP server to connect this tool to the GitHub for doing, let's say, pull requests or fetching codes, uh, pushing codes. And uh, I'm just adding the server of the GitHub and you need to obviously add your uh, GitHub API token to have that connection being there. With the same template, you can also add much more servers as MCP tool to the line code. And lastly, when you're done, you just need to go all the way at this end side, which says start and then press enter. So what I'm going to do, it will start that chat uh, session because I asked chat as the way that I can interact with line code. And I just chose Anthropic as a provider. So there's no routing this stuff because I had just the API key from them. So I can just use it. Now let's, this tool can literally read all the files and folders at that repos that I have locally or even in my GitHub repo because I have the MCP server. But to just keep it simple for uh, purpose of demonstration here, let's say I'm gonna ask that create a single, um, create a single dot .py code that is a calculator in Python, which knows it's in .py. So here I want to just ask to create this .py file locally in my computer. Potentially I can ask even test it using Anthropic model, but here I'm in a terminal and I'm not switching between Gemini CLI or Cloud Core and all those different sort of uh, terminal CLI use. So I hit enter, it's processing based on how complex it is and the choice of configurations you have there. Uh, specified in the LAN code, it's gonna take some time, but what I'm expecting is that just a .py code being generated for me so I can just run it or take it as is. There you go, within just a couple of seconds, I got this calculator.py added to the path that I specified as a project root in my directory. And you can see that it's just a very simple one as I asked that does some multiply, add, subtract. When I run it, it's gonna ask me that, hey, wh what do you wanna do? What sort of a math calculation? and then just print the response back to me. Of course, it was a very simple and naive example, but just show you that with a LAN code, I didn't switch for anything. I just provided my API key and I was able to really use any sort of those providers, even local models uh, to run them within this single terminal. Now, in case you might curious what sort of providers are supported as we discussed, Anthropic was one of them. So you can see I'm switching here if I do want to use again router, but if I go further, Gemini is one of them, OpenAI, Olama. Olama is the time that you, you have a language model deployed locally in your computer and you want to use it for vibe coding. So if I go Olama, you also going to ask me that, hey, I don't see any model running in your machines, which is the case. I'm not actually using that. But if you have it already, you can actually use it as also a choice for vibe coding in a terminal, I think, which is a very, very useful feature. And that was all about LangCode. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, I would be very thankful if you can click on like icon and make sure you subscribe so you won't miss the next video. Thank you so much.